welcome back to my channel I know I haven't uploaded a video and that's because I've been switching between day shift and night shift so it's been very hectic but today I just want to come to you guys and um, talk to you about how I passed in clicks and hopefully you can take some tips from me and um, feel better about your studies with NCLEX and pass on the first try. First, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of the videos um, that I have coming up. I have a lot of videos coming up for you guys. And hit the notification bell so you'll get the notification when the videos do show up. So, most of the time when people graduate, it's a huge celebration. It really is. So, most people like to take a post-graduation trip to somewhere in the States or somewhere out of the States. But 99% of people do take a trip after they graduate because of, um, to celebrate their, their success. But as nursing graduates, it's different for us because we still have work to do. We still have to study for NCLEX and most of the time our schools like us to pass on the first try because when many of the students don't pass on the first try the school is in jeopardy of lo losing their accreditation so um the schools that's why schools are most most likely um on our backs about us studying after graduation and passing on the first try so what i did was i waited to take a trip after graduation because I know me. I know if I was to take a trip after graduation, in my mind, I'll be like, dang, I got to get back home. I got to study. I got to do this. I got to do that. And so I wouldn't um, enjoy my vacation as I would if I didn't have to study. Because that will be always on my mind. So I waited to take my um, my trip. But I did. I did still take two, probably two weeks off. From studying I will just you know relax and enjoy that I graduated enjoy the success of me graduating period but I did not take a vacation or anything like that um, secondly I dedicated about two to three weeks to my studies and so I did not work or did not do anything I just dedicated those two to three weeks to me basically just studying for NCLEX. I would study Monday through Friday, and then I would take Saturday and Sunday off to do, you know, whatever, hang with my family and my friends and things like that. But Monday through Friday, I didn't leave the house. I was I would wake up, eat, study, eat while studying, and go to sleep at night. And I repeated that every day, Monday through Friday. And so, what I do not want you to do and what I did not do was pick up any of my med surge books, any books that I used during nursing school. I did not pick them up because honestly, we don't need to reread that. We read it in nursing school. So we have an idea. We have the concept. We know it. But what I did use as a reference is um, this book, this NCLEX RN Examination Comprehensive Review. But this is a great book to look back on and to reference um, while you're studying for NCLEX because it gives you questions at the end. It gives you um, a great description, but it's not too, it's not too in, in, in depth like your med search book would be. So it's a quick read when you need to reference something that you um, forgot or something like that. And all I used besides this was U World, and the pros that I liked about U World was they had a phone app. So when I was working before I dedicated those two to three weeks to myself, I would go on the app on at work and you know answer questions here and there. And I also liked the rationales because the rationales would tell you why the correct answer is correct and why the incorrect answers was wrong. So, because, you know, most of the times we'll be like, well, why wasn't it this answer? But you world, it actually tells you why it wasn't that answer. And then if still I didn't understand something, I would use this book to reference um, the question or something like that or go, go in depth on that specific topic. 
Also, um, I didn't like that it cost. So my friends, they had got it right after we graduated. And I think they paid, they might have paid like $80 or something like that. But they got the questions, which was about 3,000 questions. And then they also had got like two um, kind of comprehensive um, NCLEX style tests that told them their possibility of passing the NCLEX on the first try. But when I got mine, I got it like a month after I graduated. Not a month, maybe three weeks. I graduated in December and I got mine in January. Everybody else got theirs in December. So they paid the $80 and they had, they got the two exams and the 3,000 questions. So when I paid for mine, I paid $99 and that was only for the questions. It was like 139 for the questions and the two tests. But I didn't notice the difference till way after. But, um... Yeah, so I did not like I had to I did not like that I had to pay ninety nine dollars just for um some questions. But they were good questions. Um and I did all three thousand of them. So I set a schedule that I was gonna do um probably I think I started off doing like seventy five a day, then I went up to like a hundred a day, then I went up from there. And then I will go back and did, do my um, incorrect ones that I had uh, incorrect. And then I will focus on the fund fundamentals. But I ended up doing all of the questions. But if you don't have the funds to purchase anything outside of what your school gives you, use what your school gives you because I'm pretty sure that that will work. Because our school provided us with Kaplan Q Bank um, questions. And I know some of my classmates, they only use Kaplan and they passed on the first try. So if you don't have the funds, don't go make your bank go into the negatives because of that. Because I know you spent most of your money um, for all your graduation festivities and everything. So just use what your school gives you. If your school gives you Kaplan, just use that. But stick to that one thing. Don't try to use Kaplan and then um, UWorld and then ATI or something like that. Stick to one thing because when you start dibbling and dabbling and other things you're going to make yourself confused because once i finished you world i still had a couple of days till i took the nclex so i started using kaplan and i started doubting myself because kaplan questions were different than you world so i feel like my mind was on the the you world kind of questions and then when i went to kaplan i was just like i am not smart I don't know anything I'm dumb no but yeah so I think you should just stick with one thing and then stick with like a book a comprehensive book like this to reference yourself when you still don't understand something um also most people will tell you um once you're taking an exam if you're getting a lot of select all that apply you're doing good blah 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 when I was taking my exam I did not get a lot of all, select all that apply. I got a lot of EKGs, which I did not go over. I mean, I kind of went over. So in nursing school, we went over EKGs one day, and that was it. So I kind of, you know, went over it, but not like in depth. But my questions was EKGs, and it was like it would it would read me. Uh, it would give me a strip, and it would tell me what medicine what I need to give for that strip. So I think that would be something that you guys should go over because I don't think I went over that. I just kind of knew what the strip strip read, so I kind of guessed on what medication I would give for that. Um, also, go over fundamentals, but the questions for NCLEX are they're they're weird because they're simple, and you know, in nursing school, we're not used to just simple questions. We're used to a whole paragraph, so they're simple. And so it's like you kind of second guess yourself. So with NCLEX, you just have to read, pick an answer, move on. Because at first what I was doing was I was reading, then I was trying to analyze every answer. Then I was trying to, I was second guessing myself. Read, pick an answer, move on. And do that throughout the exam. Also, most people will tell you, oh, I stopped at 75, I stopped at 75. Blah, blah, blah. So do not get upset if you go past 75. I mean, it's kind of normal because when my test went to 76, my heart dropped. I immediately thought I failed. So, 
don't get upset when you go past 76 i mean 75 and clex is probably just trying to figure out where you are if you're past it. i mean if you know your stuff or if you don't but i had a friend that went all the way to the end which was like 265 questions or something like that and she still passed on the first try so don't get upset and i think i went to like a hundred and something i don't know because once i got past 76 i stopped looking at the questions because i was afraid but it just like shut off at some point it just shut off and so my heart shut off too <laughs> because i was like um okay and so as i was walking out like i was i was all over the place i like tripped up the stairs crying and like i was all over the place i'm like i have to pass on the first try i have a job waiting on me blah blah blah, blah. and that's another thing if even if you don't have a job waiting on you take NCLEX as soon as you can after you graduate because if you wait about two months you're gonna forget some things like some things are not gonna click as fast as they did if you would if you would have took NCLEX a month after you graduated so take it as soon as you can start studying as soon as you can don't take this huge break after um graduation just try to get it over with and done with i hate for us nursing graduates because it's like we graduated yet our work is still not done we still have to study and that's the worst thing ever um there's like this trick that you could do after you take the test to um after you take the NCLEX like if you try to re-register and like put in the wrong card information if you if you pass it would say you already have an exam registered or something like that but if you don't pass it would say wrong card information so I didn't do I didn't do the trick because I was like I can't take this I, I can't take it so I just kind of forgot about it and that that next day I think I was going to New Orleans for Mardi Gras so I, I kind of you know channeled it out of my mind but in 48 hours your test scores are ready but you have to pay eight dollars online so 48 hours I was like should I pay the eight dollars in like so it can read me my faith and and tell me that I didn't pass like should I just pay eight dollars for that or not and so I was like I'm gonna do it and yeah my heart was like beating out of my chest before I press next so I press next and it says pass oh my gosh I was like okay I did the right thing I'm on vacation and I found out I pass I'm good let's go for drinks <laughs> so um that's the best thing to do other than that you'll get your results in the mail probably like seven days seven seven business days something like that so if you have any other questions about NCLEX or what um what are some other things I did or what are some things that you think you should do or something like that just follow me on all my social media JST underscore gorgeous and ask me any questions that you may have as always stay educated See you later.